I'm not gonna get out of my car yet. I'm feeling good, I got my seat heater on. Whew, that's the kind of day this is. As you head out the door, we're looking at a couple of our different cameras. Things look good all through the metro. There's Hefner Parkway, Northwest Expressway, moving fine, I-40 under the Skydance Bridge on our downtown cam. We have I-44 right near Kelly and I-35 also moving fine, and then I-240 and I-44. So anywhere you're coming in from, things look good. I'll have another check of traffic coming up. It's 515. If you are hopping out on the roadways, nothing major to report right now. This is a live look at I-40 and Douglas on our SSM health cam. That is over in Midwest City. Things are moving fine there. Of course, a lot of ongoing construction. No longer worried about the wind that we had over the weekend and last week. So nothing major to report as far as uh, um, weather impacts for your morning drive. All your Drive times look good. And for more, it's going to be 11 minutes for you to get to the Dallas Junction. Up from Norman, currently 13 minutes on I-35 as well. And then if you're coming in from Yukon this morning, it'll take you 10 minutes with the current conditions on I-40 heading eastbound. Buckle up, drive safe. Philly side, I know Lacey's already been talking about that, but Lex gets to sit on his seat warmer all morning long because he is on the roadways for us monitoring traffic. He's on I-44 right near Western right now. And of course, if we do have any accidents, we will send him to them. But for now, not seeing a whole lot there on the roadways in his shot. Let's take a look now at a couple of your drive times. If you're coming in from Midwest City, it'll be 13 minutes for you on I-40. That's going to be in the westbound lanes in from Lake Hefner Parkway down uh, on Memorial. No, on Lake Hefner Parkway from Memorial down to I-44. I'll take you seven minutes and then in from El Reno, 28 minutes. And I'll have another check of traffic for you coming up. 5.45 and uh, you're looking at I-44 right near I-35 and Kelly on our cowboy cam. It's part of our Lucky Star Sky Cam Network. Things are moving fine all around that curve. No accidents to report right now, so that's good news for you as well. I know a lot of people aren't leaving until a little bit later, but if you want to check at all of your drive times just to know if you'll make it to your destination on time, leaving now. In from Norman, it's 13 minutes for you on I-35 heading northbound. And from Yukon on I-40, that's going to be in the eastbound lanes. 10 minutes is your current drive time. And then coming in from Edmond, 7 minutes on I-35, heading southbound. Buckle up, drive safe. All over the metro, as far as traffic conditions go, we have Lex Stanfield out and about. Currently, no accidents to send him to, so he is uh, monitoring roadways for us on Hefner Parkway and Northwest 50th. Looking good there in his shot. Another look at Hefner Parkway at Northwest Expressway, also moving fine. We have the curve right there on I-44, right near I-35 and Kelly, and then I-40 and Douglas also looking good on our SSM Health Camp. So let's take a look at a couple of your drive times in from Newcastle, 15 minutes for you, and from Choctaw, it'll take you 17 minutes on Highway 62 and then coming in from El Reno on I-40. It'll take you 28 minutes. I'll keep an eye on those roadways for you and have another look at traffic coming up. Live look at I-35 down in Moore. This is right at North 12th Street. Things are moving fine for now. This is one of our typical problem spots. So as we see more people out and about on roadways, it will start slowing down. We do also have some scheduled construction in Norman. Looking at the map, there is uh, where it's going to be eastbound and westbound Tecumseh Road. This is going to be every day this week from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's going to be narrowed to one lane in each direction. Again, this is for my Norman drivers on Tecumseh between Flood and 12th. Avenue um, Northeast. So definitely something to be aware of if that's part of your normal drive. I'll have another check of traffic for you in just a little bit. It's going to be a thing this uh, winter <laughs> slash season. So this is what we're dealing with. Lacey already mentioned it feels like 35 degrees hanging out the door. It's also, I, I mean, for the people who have remote start, if they have bougie cars, that's also a remote start day where you can heat up your car before you get in. I don't have that, so it's just a seat heater day for me. There's a live look at the downtown cam, I-235 and I-40 on our Lucky Star Sky Cam Network, moving fine. All through the metro, no major accidents to report at this time, uh, so you're good to go if you're leaving right now, which I know a lot of people are starting to head out the door. We have I-44 curving right near Kelly and I-35 entering that construction zone there on our cowboy cam. Also looking good on um, our Lucky Star Sky Cam Network. So nothing major to report. I'll have another check of traffic coming up.
accident that you need to know about on I-40. This is actually affecting traffic in both directions. It's reported to be a rollover accident. Sometimes, of course, it affects both directions, especially in the areas that have been narrowed on I-40 over uh, kind of in the Midwest City area. This is going to be between, Mid uh, between Westminster Road and Anderson Road, and it's actually in the eastbound lanes, but it looks like the westbound lanes are being affected even more so than the eastbound lanes. So we do have a crew headed that direction. They're going to bring us the latest once they get there. Uh, but anytime that something is affecting both lanes of traffic, usually, or both directions of traffic, usually it's a pretty gnarly crash. So we'll have the latest on that coming up.